See? I told you he'd be in next year's game. Alright, so today we're just going to take a small break from Street Fighter V and from Multiverses just because I've been uploading those videos and I wanted to actually do a wrestling video because I missed out on 316 day and I remembered last year I did the AJ Styles video game evolution, not counting handhelds or mobile games. And WWE 2K23 just came out and yes, you read that right, I will be giving away a free Action figure John Cena, my faction, locker code during this video. So today, for the AJ Styles evolution, a year later, of course we're going to be AJ Styles. Oh, oh yes, two different outfits. That's right. That's awesome. Um, let's uh, check out his normal outfit first, and then we'll do uh, another match with his other outfit. So, who are we facing at the One Night Stand Arena? I love this arena, by the way. I'm so glad it's in the game. Uh, let's do random. Uh, random? <laughs> I can't believe it actually landed on him. Can you? <laughs> Biggie, maybe. Young Randy Orton? Cedric, Gunther, Angelo. Uh, you know what? Where's uh, the DLC? Bad Bunny, the prototype. Because I haven't seen some of these guys as DL. Jesus, Brock. Uh, don't worry, we'll be doing another match. You know what? Yeah, we'll do. Because this is all about John Cena also. Young Cena at the ECW One Night Stand Arena. Here we go. An Extreme Rules match, by the way. Also, I figured I would talk about current things in wrestling right now. I had to turn the music off, by the way, so... Yeah. Anything. Anyway, uh, as some of you may know, I'm a huge wrestling fan, and WrestleMania's right around the corner. So, I'll talk about my thoughts on AEW right now, and WWE right now, for those of you who enjoy it. Let's start off with technically WWE, because like I said, by the time this goes up, what do you call there? We'll be uploading, or it's right around the corner. WrestleMania. Last time I talked about WWE was in my tier list at the end of last year. So we're going to start from, talk about the WWE from the Royal Rumble up until, what's today? March 19th, 2023. So, WWE starting from the Royal Rumble up until March 19th, 2023. I'll tell you what I've liked and what I didn't like. So without, my God, this game looks great. So the Royal Rumble, I thought, was a great show. Not just because of that. Like, I'll say this right off the bat. Everything involving the bloodline from there till now, technically from last year, has been the best thing. Like the whole Sami Zayn bloodline, Kevin Owens thing. Chef kisses. And this arena is so good, too. I love this arena in this game. Anyway, that has been phenomenal. Okay. The beatdown on Sami at... Um, the Royal Rumble. It's been phenomenal. It's amazing. I, and uh, they recently just uh, united Kevin Owens and Sammy this past SmackDown. And I'm not going to lie. I got teary-eyed. I got very teary-eyed because it was just beautiful. The way they did it. Everything leading up to that. Like the bloodline thing. It's just been incredible. It's probably the best thing going on in wrestling right now. Um, so let's talk about the Royal Rumble. Uh, I thought the Royal Rumble was a great show besides the whole beatdown. I love that Gunther, a.k.a. Walter, broke the uh, longest time record, not counting Daniel Bryan's, but I think he also broke Daniel Bryan's at uh, the greatest Royal Rumble. Um, yeah. Although, I was a little upset that they announced Cody was coming back and Cody was number 30, but that makes sense because um, a lot of people thought maybe Sami Zayn was going to be in the Rumble. So it's like, yeah, we're just going to say that Cody is here and he's going to be number 30. So y'all don't get mad because, again, Sami Zayn would have made the logical choice. But I'm glad Cody won because I think Cody deserves it. And not only that, it's a good business thing because uh, put yourself in Triple H's shoes right now. It's like you have one EVP or technically WWE shoes. 
One EVP from your leading company. Why can't I climb on the damn turnbuckle? There we go. And there's rumors that three more EVPs contracts are coming up real soon. So it's like, hey, look at what we did to one of your EVPs. Maybe you three could come here and you'll get treated the same way. So the Royal Rumble, uh, I was happy for both winners, Cody and Rhea Ripley. I'm so glad Rhea Ripley won from number one and went all the way. I think she even broke a record. This is an Extreme Rules match too, by the way. Um, Bray Wyatt, LA Knight. Yeah, I love LA Knight. I'm so glad LA Knight went back to be an LA Knight. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think he could have gotten the Max Dupree thing over, but he's just so much better as LA Knight. Yeah. But I enjoyed it for what it was, just a small squash Mountain Dew match in a glow stick or in um, glow bowling lights. And, um, yeah, what is AJ's uh, specials? You still got the calf crusher in the spring. Wow, they changed it to the springboard? He doesn't have the Ushi Garushi anymore, huh? Okay, okay. I'm going to do this. But, um... I thought, uh, what else happened at the Rumble? There's probably a lot more. I just can't remember for the life of me. Aw, uh, damn it. Oh, well, let's, let's come on, get up there. Good night, Cena! Wahoo! <laughs> um, yeah, I thought the Rumble was a phenomenal show. Probably WWE's best show right now for the year. And, um, whoop, damn it! The prototype got out the way. And then we went on to Elimination Chamber, which was a, kind of a very predictable show. Like, I knew Asuka was going to win. There was no way Austin Theory wasn't going to win. I like the setup for Logan Paul and Seth Rollins. Um, and then, of course, Roman versus Sammy was amazing. A lot of people thought, you know, they could have made magic there having Sammy dethrone Roman. But um, I wouldn't mind Sammy winning the title, but... It's like what somebody said, the storyline, you got to remember, they're doing for Sammy and, um, i trying to remember how to do the springboards, for Sammy and Kevin, like that was the whole storyline. It wasn't just Sammy and Roman, it was Sammy and Kevin Owens. So basically if you had Sammy be in the triple threat match with Cody and Roman, you basically take away a moment with Kevin, which we would not have gotten that beautiful friendship moment, so... And to be honest, I don't think Sami Zayn wants to be world champion. I think he's happy right now. Which, um... He's kind of like my... Somewhat second pick to win King of the Ring. Because, you know, it's in Saudi Arabia this year. But, um... If they're in the tournament, my pick to win King of the Ring would probably be uh, Finn Balor. Because, um, I think Finn Balor is going to beat Edge in the Hell in a Cell match, which... I hope that's the end between Edge and Finn Balor. Like, for the love of God, I want Edge to move on from Finn Balor and the Judgment Day. And I hope Hell in a Cell it is Brood Edge versus Demon Finn Balor. And I hope that's the end of it. Like, Edge can move on to something else and Finn Balor can move on to something else. Let's get a prototype here. Wham! All right. One. Two, I think he's going to use his resilience. No, no resilience. Cool. Anyway, um, yeah, I think Finn Balor might. If he's in the tournament, I think Finn Balor will win King of the Ring. But um, if he's not, I don't know who. They haven't announced any participants yet because WrestleMania is right around the corner. Other than that, WWE has had some ups and downs these past couple months. Um, like, I like. They changed Asuka to our Oscana, like, um, friggin' gimmick. But also, uh, oh, yeah, we'll go to this arena. We'll go to this arena. I haven't done a War Games match, but I don't want to do one because those take too long. Um, should we do? Should we do another? No, we'll just do a uh, normal match. And, um, <laughs> there he was right there, John Cena. Again, I will be giving away a code for a free John Cena 
action figure my faction card in the video so stay tuned for that URS where's Super Cena did I just pass him up there he is we'll fight Super Cena because <laughs> Super Cena is great this is a great unlockable I love stuff like this in my games I also put the uh, John Cena legacy title on him because it fits like the last time we had a character like this was Golden AJ and um for now, for now, for now. But um, like I said, there are some things in WWE I don't like right now. Uh, I wonder if he gets fireworks if you go to a different stage. Oh, he's got different hair too. Thank God. I was wondering if they would give AJ another model in this game. It's funny seeing young AJ hair with old AJ face. Same thing with Taker. Yeah, like young Taker with old Taker face. Anyway, um, what are some things I don't like in WWE right now? Because I, I was getting a little sick. Uh, Brock Lesnar, Omos. Um, I'm going to have faith that it's just a big beefy boy match that just beat the piss out of each other. But uh, it's not going to be a good one. It's not going to be a Sheamus and Gunther, which I'm looking forward to. Sheamus, Gunther, and Drew. And I, I want Gunther to win just because I want Gunther to beat Honky Tonk Man's record. And then you can give the belt to Sheamus at like SummerSlam or something. That's all. But will it happen? I don't know. And I want Cody to beat Roman because... That too. The build to Cody and Roman has been okay. Like they only were in the ring the same time once. I wish they made it more like instead of it, oh, it's Dusty's kids. Dusty's kids all about Dusty. I wish it was more like the Onawahi family versus the Rhodes family. Oh, he doesn't get a championship entrance, huh? But, um, I'm really looking forward to the Cody versus Roman, and I hope Cody does. World Heavyweight Champ. Oh, he does get a championship entrance. Nice! Is it the uh, ECW one? From ECW One Night Stand? Nope. Okay. But, um, I hope Cody dethrones Roman. Well, the way I look at it, if Cody does not beat Roman, then Roman's break in Bruno's record because you basically have no one else unless you do The Rock, which if if Roman beats The Rock, which he's going to if they do Roman versus Rock, Roman might as well retire and go in the Hall of Fame. He might as well just retire and go in the Hall of Fame and be done with that. Um, the women's division in WWE has been a little all over the place. Like they're doing these random tag matches. Like they just had Tegan Knox and Emma tag together, which they've never tagged together to get into some kind of fatal four-way showcase match for Mania, which is weird. I, lo I love this unlockable character. So far, Cena and Golden AJ are the only unlockable characters to have max stats. And so far, Roman Reigns is the only base character to have the highest overall at 99, which is insane. But WWE... Um, I really hope Mania is a great show. Um, I will not be going to Mania this year, sadly. Wish I could, but I will say, too, I will not be uploading anything, I think, between April 2nd through April 4th, I want to say, because I will be going on a little mini vacation and just to um, give everybody a break from my uploads because I upload every day. Jesus, Super Cena is beating my ass. Get off of me! <laughs> my face! Oh, let me just roll out of the ring real quick and recover. Anyway, um. Big wall! What the hell? I was not expecting that. Did not know John Cena had a suicide dive attack. I did not know Super Cena did it. In fact, Super Cena should have everything. This is, this is such a great unlockable. Such a great unlockable. But, um. What else we got? I was on the outside for a little bit here just to... I am playing on the easiest difficulty, by the way, just because. Um, wow, he recovered fast. Sheesh. Hey, get, get off of me, lady. Get off of me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Aha! Bastard. All right. Aha! Suck on this! Invisible John Cena can't see me. 
I really wish um, action figure Cena was usable in um, outside of my faction because he's only usable in my faction mode unless you uh, mod the game. But um, like I said, I will be giving away a free action figure John Cena code in the video somewhere. He's got the springboard stunner. Crap! Get off of me, man. Get off of me. Oh, I got the comeback. Okay, cool. Get out of here. But, um, how about we talk about now AEW? I believe AEW, it feels a whole lot like AEW of the old somewhat. Revolution was an amazing show. I do hate the fact some matches were put on the show because it feels like they were just put on the show just to get on the show. I'm looking at you, Elite versus House of Black. Although that match was probably my match in the night besides the Iron Man match. I said a lot of times it feels like the Elite, I'm sorry, uh, AEW would just put a match on just to have a match. But uh, Revolution was great. I love Jungle Boy versus... Uh, Christian in that uh, casket burial live match. I know it was like, what, the last burial or something, but come on, it was a casket burial live match. It was great. Revolution was just a great show overall. It was amazing, except for uh, like that fatal four-way tag match. That, that wasn't that great. Like the Ass Boys uh, winning the, uh, or the Gun Club, I should say. Oh, oh God. Winning the titles, which is dumb. But I will say, Daniel Br uh, Brian Danielson, sorry, and MJF. Like I said, I do not like MJF's promo style, but like I said, I give credit. AJ MJF is really great in the ring, where it counts somewhat. <laughs> but yes, he is really great in the ring. Him and Brian probably had, if not the best, and one of the best Iron Man matches ever. Like, ever. And, um... Because I... I don't know. It might even be better than Brock and Angle. I might have to watch the match again. But it was great. Like, Revolution was amazing. Like, I love the tease that they're doing right now with uh, the Elite and Hangman Page. I love the setup right now of the four pillars. Fatal 4-Way, it looks like it's going to be. Hopefully. Between, because, um... Past Dynamite. Uh, Jungle Boy, Sammy Guevara, and Darby Allen all came out saying they won a title shot. And, um, oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. I might tap out. Crap. Thoughts. But, um, yeah, that, I am looking forward to that. That is going to be a great match and is a great idea. Like, let's just have the four pillars of AEW. We just have ourselves a really good Fatal 4-Way match. I think that match is going to be insane. Or at least I hope. Phenomenal forearm! Hey! Oh, connected! Pin him! One! Two! I knew he was going to... I knew he was going to use that. Psych! Ha-ha! Get him in the cross face! Ha-ha! You tapped out that time, bitch! There are some things in AEW I'm not liking also. Like, you got to get that TBS title off of Jade Cargill. She is bringing nothing to that title. Like, it, it's been a drag. You got to... If they go to 100 wins, that's fine maybe, but... Jade Cargill with that title, you got to get it off of her. Um, stop hot-shotting or hot-potatoing the TNT title. Because, again, that's annoying. Although I'm happy Powerhouse Hobbs has the title. I like Hobbs. Although I think the whole going from, what was it, Joe beat Wardlow, Wardlow beat, no, yeah, Joe beat Wardlow, Darby beat Joe, Joe beat Darby, Wardlow beat Joe, and then Hobbs beat Wardlow. Which is just, uh, <laughs> stop hot potatoing uh, the TNT title. But I'm glad Hobbs has it, and um, I'm actually happy for Orange Cassidy. A lot of people are getting tired of Orange Cassidy, but I think he's uh, doing great. Now, we're going to play a match. By the way, uh, my team name for my faction, just because I find it funny, 
Uh, I'm a big, uh, I mentioned this, I'm a big Looney Tunes fan. And I love uh, Space Jam, so I named my team what Daffy Duck wanted to name his team originally. The Ducks! But, this is what most of you came here for. Because you want to have a team like this, right? All rubies, three Cenas, or two Cenas, a prototype, and a bad bunny. Most of you came here to get that. The, um, where is it? Where is it? The collection. Where can you see the collection? I was just here. My collection for the redemption rewards redemptions redemptions where is it right here most of you came here for this bad boy right okay okay like i said i will give away a free john cena card but today i'm gonna do one match with action figure cena just one just one one quick match one quick match So, act, yes, I have an extra code. In fact, I have a couple extra codes because um, I was originally going to be like, oh, I'll make a quick buck off them, but it's not worth it. <laughs> so I'm just going to give away some, but just one. I actually only have just one code for the action figure. Crap, John Cena Bush basically plays like John Cena. He has one extra higher ability than John Cena. And um, to get that code... I'm going to say this, you got to have a Twitter account because I will message you the code on Twitter. But to get this, this, action figure John Cena, which, like I said, give me a minute, I'm going to try to make this a quick, quick match. Get the 15 uh, points here, cool. Going to try to tap him out with the figure four. Tap him out, come on! The inverted figure four, come on. No. These buttons change so quickly. I will keep you inside this. Oh, that's square, not circle. I will keep you. Damn it. I'm not very fast. And not only that, I don't have an uh, emerald card for... Uh, I'm sorry. I have an emerald card for a manager. Not, not a good one. I'm using, I believe, the Xavier Woods one. Crap, that's circle. Swear. Give me X. There we go. Uh, uh, got it. Huh. So, you want a free action figure John Cena code. Like I said, you have to have a Twitter account because I don't know how to DM on YouTube. But you have to be the first one to correctly guess this question and seeing as WWE 2K23 is all about that man John Cena right there the first person to correctly guess this answer the first person to correctly guess the answer to this question the Ducks win baby we'll get that right there and here's the question where or I should say yeah what pay-per-view did John Cena win his first singles championship? We're not talking about OVW, FCW, none of that. What pay-per-view did John Cena win his first singles championship? The first person to comment that down below. If you have a Twitter account, the first person cor to correctly guess that answer, I will send them a free action figure John Cena code for my faction. My name is Clinkeroth. I thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for some more.